At the heart of our Milky Way sits Sagittarius A. It is thought to be a dormant, supermassive black hole. Recently, astronomers have caught it suddenly growing in brightness by 75 times before dying down again. It actually shone brighter than the nearby star and has the scientists totally baffled. So what exactly is going on? Sagittarius A has been observed in the near infrared for over 20 years and it is known that it can fluctuate in brightness. In 2019, the scientists recorded a brightening event that they had never before witnessed. This was more than double the brightness of the previous peak and over 75 times brighter than its previous brightness. In the standard black hole model, these brightening events are caused by the heating of the accretion disk surrounding the black hole. As new material falls in, it feeds the accretion disk, causing a brightening event. The problem is that Sagittarius A should be dormant, and as we reported a while ago, the G2 dust cloud passed by Sagittarius A, changing direction, but not being swallowed up or being pulled apart. In the report to be published in the Astrophysics Journal, the scientists state that it may indicate that the current model is not sufficient to model Sagittarius A at a high flux level and should be updated. In the plasma and electric universe, the main hypothesis is that at the center of these galaxies, there is a large plasmoid. In the early phases of a galaxy's life, it is highly active and over time, as the energy stored in the plasmoid is used up, it becomes less active. If we take Eric Lerner's plasmoid model of a quasar, then we can see that the size of the plasmoid will be significantly larger than the visible part. Eric built this model based on the laboratory experiments that he conducted and scaled this up to a galactic size. Most of the plasmoid will be in dark mode and only the very central bit would be seen to emit energy. The plasmoid in this model would pulse every year as the twisting filaments reconnect to new ones, releasing the energy stored in each twisted filament. If the energy levels drop below a certain level, the whole plasmoid, including the small central bit, would return to dark mode. In Eric's model, it is assumed that the plasmoid forms and then decays slowly over time. But what is not clear is what happens when new plasma is injected into the surroundings of the plasmoid. It is possible that this could inject more energy into one of these twisting filaments inside of the plasmoid, causing a small sort of reset. When the next filament then twists around, this could then release the small burst of energy, which would be greater than the normal release. We know that recently the G2 cloud passed by Sagittarius A and changed direction. Could it have injected some plasma back into the plasmoid or transferred some magnetic energy into the plasmoid? Could it be that there was simply a little bit more energy stored in one of the filaments? So therefore, as it twisted and turned, it just released a little bit more energy at that particular time. Could this twisting reconnection explain the fluctuations that we have observed in the brightening events of Sagittarius A? I am currently working on a video outlining Eric Lerner's model in more detail, so watch out for that in the near future. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.